بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين ثم أما بعد uh, Hello my friends In the last lessons we talk about the diesel engine the, di the diesel engine and its part also after that we will we talk we talked about the generators and uh, the main bars and the auxiliary bars of the generator now today we will talk about the generator and the prime mover or the diesel engine what's called and what is it used for it's called the generating seat or gain seat in abbreviations the basic function or what is the gain set or generating set the basic function of the gain set is to produce the electricity by having the engine in operation and thus driving and thus driving the generators this is part it's called engine diesel engine or any prime mover engine and this is called the generators so the gain set main function is to produce the electricity by having the energy operation and thus driving the generators thus generators generating the electricity before operating the plant before operating the plant or any plant it must be verified that all systems are full operational condition all equipment has to be properly tested and commissioned and ready for operations if you want to operate any power plant you must to test all the operations of the genset and all the equipment has to be properly tested Commission ready for operation. Properly trained, experienced, experienced operator must be available to perform the actions required in the instruction. Before starting the gain set, before starting the gain set, all auxiliary systems or units must be in operation. So, it must be every auxiliary or every unit of the power plant must be ready and in operations it also assumes that all units are in operational condition note if a unit is found be faulty it should be repaired or replaced before continuing when the startup grows user so if there are any fault or mistake in the power plant uh, uh, so in the generator or in the prime mover this engine or any prime mover it must be repaired or replaced to start the genset after making sure that the genset operation is now ready for plant can be operated in accordance with specific conditions or starting condition of a computer or computer skin and that sold its uh, Wartilla operation system. The generating set can be operated in automatic or manual mode. It's called manual mode as shown in this picture that we will talk about in the next week inshallah this is called the power or control panel this is control unit and it's manual control unit now how does the gene set work how does the gene set work a gene set is a combination of a prime mover is a combination of a prime mover that's typically or engine and the alternator so an engine converts the chemical energy that's found in the fuel 
into mechanical energy. That mechanical energy is used to spin the alternator rotor, converting the mechanical energy into the electrical energy that's used in the generator. An alternator is made of two main parts, a rotor and stator. Spinning the alternator rotor through the magnetic field between the rotor and stator creates a voltage on the alternator stator. Through the phenomenon of the electromagnetic induction, when the voltage on the stator is connecting to a load, the electrical current flows and the generator produces power. In sum, the genset creates portable source of energy when the generator is used in a conjunction with the diesel engine or the diesel engine as a just one example this creates a diesel genset. Additional elements of a genset. A genset is usually housed in a sound a tuned enclosure to reduce a noise to the surrounding areas and it's typically made of steel or stainless steel or aluminum. This cabin must be able to withstand corrosion and effectively manage the engine cooling process. The base frame contains an anti-vibration system. It may also contain the fuel tank or the tank may be separate. The tank must be separate. Other elements include a control panel of the genset elements, the control panels. This is manual and it is automatic. Control panel and automatic transfer switch that's called ATS switch, automatic transfer switch. In case energy needs to be alternated between the main source and auxiliary one. Now, let's talk about the benefits of a genset. What are the benefits of the genset? Benefits of a well built industrial quality genset are numerous, including one. It's reliability. Two, fuel efficiency. Three, scalable design. Four, robust construction. Five, automatic or manual parallelage. Six, automatic loading control. Seven, local or remote operation. Here are more specifics. When you choose a genset module from APR Energy, you can count on diesel and the gas powered modules that used and the list and the efficiency and significance of your saving. Plus improved frequency and voltage stability, our gensets are easily transportable and the land or sea or air housed within a standard in the ISO or the international standard operation that scored the 12 between 2 meters or 40 foot. The container to ensure repeat installation and commissioning globally, our package design has minimal interfaces. This unit can be combined into scalable. 5.5 megawatt megawatt blocks and can facilitate repeat installation up to 300 megawatt or more. Also, additional benefits of genset by APR Energy includes our module support a broad range of utility industrial power generation applications. These durable and dependable modules are crafted with the minimal weight through utility parallel switch gear all loads for the automatic or manual parallel. 5. 
our modules have an automatic load management management system for utility based load and soft loading or unloading now genset case study ABR Energy was the first company to provide the energy in Myanmar. Both our science sections, this country is the second largest producer of the natural gas in Southeast Asia. Had struggled because of a combination of a sanctions and the dearth of foreign investment. This led to an undervalued world or infrastructure along with aging power plants 75 percent of its population had not had access to electricity and the country's energy production potential was not being met the united states and multiple european union nations left the sanctions in 2011 and in 2014 APR Myanmar government with 19 days we installed one of the country's largest thermal plants with 70% of the work sourced locally this one to a plant 200 awards so we will talk about the starting conditions of the power plant in the next lesson inshallah thank you my friends for your listening